but also the gifts given to us on the altar, the body and blood of Christ, the fruits of the cross. Repent of your ungodly behavior and receive Jesus as your sanctification. Repent of your slavery to sin and receive Jesus as your redemption, as your redeemer. St. John Chrysostom said it also this way, God did not just make us wise, righteous, and holy in Christ. He gave us Christ. He gave us Christ with the fullness of his gifts, the fullness of his accomplishments, so that we should never need anything else for our salvation. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Let's join together confessing our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we offer before you our common supplications for the well-being of your church throughout the world. So guide and govern it by your Holy Spirit that all who profess themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Send down upon all ministers of the gospel and upon the congregations committed to their care the healthful spirit of your grace, that they may please you in all things. Behold in mercy all who are in authority over us. Supply them with your blessing, so that they may be inclined to your will and walk according to your commandments. We humbly ask of your abiding presence in every situation that you would make known your ways among us. Preserve those who travel, satisfy the wants of your creatures, and help those who call upon you in any need, that they may have patience in the midst of suffering, and according to your will be released from their afflictions. We pray especially today for Jerry Bullock, who has suffered a stroke this past week and is in intensive care. We pray, Lord God, that according to your power and mercy, you would bring Jerry healing and assure him and all his family of your salvation, of your love. Embrace them with your mighty arms. We pray for those who grieve and mourn especially for Al Schmidt and the recent death of his longtime companion, Gina. We pray, Lord, that you will comfort and bless Gina's family and friends and grant that they may rejoice in the proclamation of the death and the resurrection of Christ for our salvation. We give you thanks, Lord, for all the blessings you have poured out upon us. We thank you also for the difficulties and the crosses that you call us to bear, for they, co they cause us, they direct us to rely fully, wholly upon you. All these things, Lord, and whatever else you would have us to ask, we lift it up to you, praying through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Right and 
salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Holy Lord, Almighty Father, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who overcame the assaults of the devil and gave his life as a ransom for many, that with cleansed hearts we might be prepared joyfully to celebrate the Paschal Feast in sincerity and truth. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God. Bye. 